In the first procedure of its kind performed in Alberta, an Airdrie area quadriplegic man has had a pacing device implanted in his diaphragm, which lets him breathe during the day without the help of a ventilator. Since his surgery last October, Charles Nixdorf, a resident at Care West's Dr. Vernon Fanning Centre in Calgary, has even progressed to the point where he's able to breathe for short periods of time entirely unassisted. So it's a diaphragm pacer. It paces the main breathing muscle, which is the diaphragm. And it's installed, in this case, underneath the diaphragm, uh, right next to the nerve where it uh, inserts on the diaphragm. Called the new RX diaphragm pacing system, the unit provides an electrical impulse to stimulate the diaphragm, just as a cardiac pacemaker provides an impulse to stimulate the heart. The diaphragm pacer is controlled by an external device, which can regulate the frequency of breaths, their depth and duration. It's been very successful, and what it means to him is that um, he feels much more comfortable without the uh, ventilator, and he has the freedom to be much more mobile without the uh, machine next to him, and also um, he can speak much better, he can eat better. Yeah, it makes an enormous difference in terms of quality of life. If you're a ventilator-dependent quad, you always have to be you know, on the ventilator, it all ha always has to go with you, there's the whole rigmarole of taking it with you. Um, with the pacemaker, it allows them to be separated from that sort of technology, it makes it very simple for them to, to, um, to go out. Well, I go to movies. That's strong stuff. So. That helps. Gives me more freedom. Before the surgery, medically, he was on the ventilator 24 hours a day. So the machine that breathes for him connected to the tracheostomy tube, 24 hours a day. If we took him off the ventilator, we had to do it very quickly because he couldn't breathe at all on his own. I would say under about a minute. Um, so he couldn't initiate the breath. He didn't have the strength to breathe more than a minute on his own. Post-surgery, medically, uh, and where we sit today, is if we took Charles off the ventilator and off the pacer, he's able to breathe on his own unassisted from any device for 40 minutes, 4-0, 40 minutes. Pacing devices reduce the risk of infection and irritation to the airway. They also enhance safety and mobility since patients aren't attached to any tubing. Patients in an institutional setting remain on a ventilator at night as a safety precaution. It does have um, evidence that with this device, it can decrease the incidence of medical complications such as pneumonia. So it has multiple advantages. Although this form of therapy has been used in the US and some European countries, it is still relatively new to Canada, with only a handful of centres having performed the procedure. It is the first of its kind in Alberta. and. Um, Prior to this, um, it has only been done in a couple other provinces. It's made my uh, diaphragm and lungs stronger. It's the diaphragm's just like any other muscle. Once it's shown that it's working, uh, we just we need to condition it and keep strengthening it. So the possibility for him to be off the ventilator and off the pacer for up to six, seven, eight hours is, is there. It's just a process to get the diaphragm conditioned.